Well, it is year 20 for you, Dave Regenick, as the head photographer for the Detroit Red Wings. How did you even get started in this position? Well, I guess like anything in life, timing's everything. You know, I, I played hockey my whole life, coached hockey. Uh, I happened to know one of the guys, uh, Randy Lippy was his name. He had the Stanley Cup party at his house in 2002, and we became friends. And something had come up with one of the photographers previous to me, and they gave me a six-game tryout. So I guess I did okay. I'm still hanging in there. But, yeah, it's a dream come true. Well, you're still here all these years later, so you're doing something right. So I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of iconic moments captured over the years. What's at the top? Well, obviously the Stanley Cup. Uh, you know, guys play their whole careers and never have a chance to do it. And I was able to experience it twice with the team in 07-08 uh, when we beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. And then 08 09, when we lost to Pittsburgh in game seven in Detroit, which was heartbreaking, but at least I got to experience the winning part of it for the one prior to. So, yeah, that was a big one. And um, there's just so many. You were, you know, taking the time to show me some of those pictures that you've taken over these 20 years here with the Wings. Of all of the Wings players you've been able to capture over the years, who has the best personality that you've been able to capitalize on? Well, there's a lot of good ones. I think Pavel, uh, he was the guy that I kind of bonded with early on because he really liked pictures. Russian guy, English was really bad. I, he, when he would call me, I could hardly understand him. So, you know, texting worked out better. But uh, he was fun. He, he always appreciated images. Uh, Chris, Chelio and I, Chris Chelios and I became pretty good friends. He took me to Chicago with him, took me to Malibu with him for his Stanley Cup parties, and, all, and then the two bars he had here in uh, Detroit and in Dearborn. We had a lot of fun the year we won the cup, all his parties. So there was a lot of, a lot of stories we can talk about, a lot of stories we probably can't talk about. But um, it was, it was uh, great to be uh, involved with all that stuff. And I try to kind of lay back a little bit. Don't you know? Just take in everything, take pictures, and not stick out. You know, I don't want to, want to be one of those guys. You have such a creative eye. What do you look for when you want to take a picture the way that you do? And sometimes when you do take pictures, like. There's one that just pops out in my head specifically. Um, Sawyer. Gibson Long. Yeah, so I was at the game for his debut the other day. <clears throat> the picture of him with that little kid. I didn't send that image in. I, I didn't notice it until I, I actually got on my computer and I, and I, was, I was editing and I seen that. The, the, contact he had with that kid it just special you don't see it until you get done and you, you actually edit the image and you see it and I didn't I didn't notice it when I took it but it was such a special image and I'll make sure you get that one that was a good one so raw so emotional I when I saw those images after and even live on TV it was like just the most it's a heartwarming thing you could look at I mean you yeah, absolutely love to see it. So as a photographer, when you get to capture those moments, I mean, how how rewarding is that for you? It's, you can't put words to it. It's, it's, I'm very fortunate. Yeah. We appreciate all your work, Dave, and, and let's do 20 more years with the Wings yeah. and the Tigers and everyone else. How about that? So I'd love to experience one more Stanley Cup run. I mean, they, uh, they honored me with a ring. Say, show off this ring. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Very honored.